are you guys doing? Steve, how are you? Nice to see you again. It's Pretty nice, good. Nice to see you. Um, so I have a lot of questions and I think I'm gonna start with the most important right up front. Uh, for each of you, what is the percentage of money you get from Ireland from all the people that will book trips after seeing this movie? <laughs> I'm happy not to participate in the physical wealth if I get to have the pleasure of seeing people go and enjoy the country. Yeah, uh, Shanley's is a bigger percentage than mine for sure, but uh, <laughs> but it is very clearly and obviously a love letter to the to the country uh, in a way that obviously you know is based on a play, a play that I happen to see on Broadway, uh, and and. You know, it's the same story, but when you when you add the visual element and open it up the way that film can, boy, does it make Ireland look awfully pretty. Yeah, I wanted to book a trip this, I've been there. I still wanted to book a trip the second the film ended. I'm like, I need to go back, <laughs> like right now, you know? Well, that's um, probably, yeah. oh, sorry. That's probably also a testament to Stephen Goldblatt, who was the cameraman, who also did Joe versus the Volcano. He just really killed himself to do the best job and I'll be eternally grateful. Uh, another important question. Um, what is the amount of Guinness that was drank on set? <laughs> Nobody drank Guinness on set, but when right. they stepped away from it, they certainly did. Right. Is Make it easy for you. Right. Is there a reason it tastes so much better in the pub rather than the, than the bottle? I've always wanted to know. <laughs> I think it just travels less. Uh, there's less mileage on it. I think it just it, uh, it comes from, right from the uh, from the source. Anything from the source is better. Right. I I appreciate you bearing with my stupid questions. Um, being serious now for a second. Um, I'm going to say John Patrick. So that way there's a separation. Um, how much? I I love the opening shot and it like pulls you into this like fantasy with the music and the visuals. How much as a director do you think about? the opening shot and the closing shot? Um, uh, a decent amount. Uh, I, I do. I think about more like the opening of the story and the closing of the story. Uh, and then the, shout, the shots that would support that. But certainly I wanted to start on the seacoast and go inland until we came to where the story took place, which physically was in uh, County Mayo. Got it. Um, John, um, the, I would imagine you don't read scripts like this that often and you're familiar with the, or with the play. Um, can you sort of talk about what, why you wanted to be a part of this and what the script was like? Cause it almost has like this magical quality. Yeah, it's a, I, I keep referring to it as a fable. Um, part of it was uh, I've been a fan of Mr. Shanley's and I'm, I'm very pleased to share a, a zoom window with him these days. Uh, uh, but I've been a fan of John's work since I've been made aware of it back in the 90s, 80s, whenever it was. And um, it, it, to get the opportunity to, to work on something like this, I saw doubt in the theaters I, in the, in the, on Broadway. I saw, in fact, uh, a girl I went to high school with was in the original production of Doubt, Heather Goldenhirsch. Um, so I saw that original production. I saw the original production of Outside Mullingar. Uh, I've just been a fan of his forever and to get the opportunity to work with someone who you're such a fan of on something that you actually like and then to make something that you're intensely proud of that actually is, is delivering a message of, of hope and, and positivity in, in this increasingly snarky and cynical uh, atmosphere that we find ourselves in is just a, it's a win, 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 win. I think so. I was I was incredibly pleased to be asked to to play with these people. Uh, John Patrick, I'm always curious about the editing process because it's the final rewrite. What did you What did you learn from any early screenings that impacted the finished film? Well, it's funny you should ask that because as a result of the pandemic, we only had one. <laughs> we could, uh, and uh, uh, it was it was actually still in an unfinished state. And so uh, the, res the response was good, but we actually had a long way to go uh, after that one screening that we were able to do uh, before we got it in the final condition. And the last round of editing, which was significant, was really a, a collaboration amongst all the producers and me and the editor and the stars. 
uh, we all just jumped in and uh, argued about everything. Uh, and then I was the final arbiter. Uh, and uh, I, I at times didn't enjoy doing it that way, but that was the way it needed to be done. And it ultimately led to the film that I wanted it to be. Got it. Um, I, I know I got to go, but uh, John, real quick, is uh, what's going on with Fletch? Uh, well, we're, we're hoping to start shooting in the springtime um, in New York City. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed, we've got a, we've got an excellent script and, a, and an excellent director attached and we're going to start casting soon. So, you know, it's uh, big shoes to fill, obviously, but but it's it's as I've mentioned in previous uh, uh, conversations, it's a reboot. It's not a remake. So we're, we're taking the going back to the novels and, and really breaking it down, but hopefully bringing bringing what people want to see. So fingers crossed.